Hello, welcome to the second episode of Cherry Clan. We recorded these episodes on the same day, so we're not going to, into this one with any new knowledge of Clan Gen's inner workings. So sorry if you left a comment telling us to do something. I promise I know now, but this footage is from a couple months ago. The next episode after this will, however, be with greater knowledge of the inner workings of the game. Wolf paws pushing hard for more battle training. We could take you battle training. Yeah. Battle training? <laughs> when Pebble Stripe dies. <laughs> <laughs> Swear Stripe, how can you possibly dislike them? <laughs> Swear Stripe has said that they're annoying twice. <laughs> he really hates them. But, buddy, this is fantastic. <laughs> Spruce Stripe cannot stand Pebble Stripe! <laughs> Pebble Stripe is only there to corrupt the youth and they like it. <laughs> uh, battle training? Sure. Alright, let's just do battle training Wolf Star, uh, Tree Star and Wolf Paw one on one. Sounds good. Tree Star suggests that this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with Wolf Paw. <laughs> Um, I guess Tree Star is a fantastic hunter, and Wolf Paw might not have a choice in the matter. That's true. I I'm definitely imagining this is. Oh my gosh, Tree Star, you're handling my training today. Yes, young one. Oh my gosh, there's so many cool battle moves. I've seen you do so many of them. Are you? Which one are you going to teach me first? The the back strike, that one where you 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 flip over and you make sure that you can throw them off you when you're pinned, or that one where you grab their tail. Oh. We're hunting. I love hunting. <laughs> well, at least at least she went al along with it, you know? Yeah. Even though she wanted to do battle training. <laughs> As the patrol is sniffing around the burrow entrance, there's a rustle from the woods. It's difficult to say who's more surprised, cats or badger. There's a confused rush of paws and flying fur as the patrol scatters and the beast charges for the set. Rattlepaw is battered in the process, but everyone gets home safe in the end, including the badger, but Rattlepaw got mangled leg. Yeesh, oh. okay. You know, gosh, uh, I bet Rattlepaw was rattled by that experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's make sure the, the medicine cat patrol has quite a few people on it then. And they didn't get any moss. Oh. <laughs> they'll have to wait, they'll have to leave the rest to repopulate before gathering from this spot again. Dang it. All right, and then the last two that are together by my own... Um... <clears throat> Slick Claw and Franz. Right, straight. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yep. Border Patrol? Border Patrol, let's go! While on patrol, Sleek Claw notices, notices some suspicious paw prints in the mud beneath the canopy. We just dealt with a badger. Don't, the paw prints lead to a trespassing rogue. Fron Fickle sets up a trap, climbing into the trees with Sleek Claw and breaking a branch onto the rogue's head that sends the startled intruder yowling as they flee Cherry Clan territory. Well... Very nice. I mean, that's that's one way to deal with it, I guess. It's the righteous way to deal with it. <laughs> Dropping tree branches, just like from Starclan. Uh, just like was dropped on my apprentice. I can use this technique. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if Chestnut is still having a condition. The bite wound is still there. Yeah. Pebble Stripe is wowed by how bravely Sleep, Sleep Claw fought the other day. Wow. Okay, so they got a positive effect from being on the patrol together. Oh, cool. So, if we... Oh, wait, no, you weren't on the patrol. Never you were mind. definitely not on the patrol. You were not on any You heard patrol. about it. <laughs> uh, they're, they're now telling scary stories to the younger cats, though. <laughs> the bad advice was not good enough. <laughs> I keep forgetting their names and thinking one is the other one. Oh, well. Yeah. Pe Pebble Stripe is the uh, shameless elder who yeah. lives to corrupt the youth. And we Sleep love them Claw for it so it. much. Ebony Splash show off a skill they never knew they had. High positive effect. Oh. Front Fickle is letting Myrtle Dash share their troubles with them, hoping they'll feel better afterwards. High positive effect. That's wonderful. I'm glad the mentor crew is getting along better with 
each other and the apprentices. Yeah. And uh, like and Talon is telling. Was telling jokes about Wolf. Hi, negative. What are you telling? <laughs> Stop it! What did this child ever do to you? She hates Wolf Pop so much. Why? Are you I really here? okay. Okay, let's let's see that let's see that level now. For Wolf Pop. <laughs> okay, so the God. dislike is. What does Wolf Pop think about like and Talon? Like they, she, she must have heard about this one. Still, she does not like dislike her. her. This child only wants to love you. Not Fran Fickle, though. Oh, gosh. Spruce Trape overslept again. <laughs> overslept again. Aww. I sure am happy that I chose the life of Medicine Cat. We chose that. <laughs> Metal Dash is still part of the mentor crew. Sleek Claw is a uh, thanking start. Sleek Claw is very spiritual. Yeah, uh, this is not the first time. <laughs> oh, chest, chestnut. Chestnut is trying to set a good example. example. That's lovely. I'm glad you're integrating yourself better. And and Fran Fickle is still part of the mentor crew. This this is this is just her default. <laughs> oh. Oh, sweetie. Metal claw, why are you in the medicine den? Oh yeah, the mangled leg. I forgot. Wolf Pop practice battles so with their claws, claws out. out. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I love her. She's such a sweetie. And Pebble Stripe is corrupting the youth. I love them so much. Okay. It, it is shocking how quickly these cats have endeared me to them, despite mm -hmm. the fact that, like, they're they're just text. <laughs> They're just text and little pictures, but that's 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 the fun of it. Like like, like it's it it, it kind of grabs you a little bit because you're just thinking about what you want to happen and, and what you think could happen, you know. Yeah, it's like writing a fan fiction. But you don't have to do any work. Exactly, you can just say it out loud and it's done, or think mm -hmm. it and it's done. You don't have to do the the, the work of setting up those relationships. I th mm, I'm trying to think of a way to get Ebony Splash a better bit of a confidence boost. He's a great hunter. He could go hunting with Tree Star. Yeah. He could maybe he Tree Star and Wolf Paw could go out together. Okay. Yeah. Tree Star. They could hunt Wolf together. Paw, Ebony Splash, and they could go hunting because they're good at it. Yeah. Oh jeez. Your patrol catches the scent of a fox, but is it red or gray? Tracking it, they find a stocky gray fox feeding on a deer fawn carcass. A gray fox is unlikely to have killed a fawn this size. Do we proceed? I guess so. The cats are only just smaller and outnumber the fox, if only by a little, and it's prize it's a prize they're willing to fight for. With a prayer to Starkwind, they throw themselves into battle, and the fox, already half full of venison and unwilling to lose blood over it, is driven off from the kill. Yeah, this is basically the most the gore gets, and that's that's that's, that's yeah. basically nothing. No, it's not that bad. I think I've seen worse in like the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy as a kid. Mm -hmm. Don't get into a fight with a dog. All right, and the last three have to go on a medicine cat mission. Indeed. Oh boy, we have the love conga line again. Oops. Hey guys. <laughs> Not to nurture this again. Well, Greenleaf is truly the best time of year to be a medicine cat, and with the world so full of flowers and green growth, Lycan and Talon heads out to gather fresh mallow for the stores with the patrol of their clanmates to assist them. I really like this little art of the yeah. the, the chunky cat. The soft, rose-like scent of the mallow bushes drifts around like in Talon and Wolfpaw as they work. Wolfpaw? Uh, Wolfpaw is not here, buddy. Okay. <laughs> they snip off clumps of large, fuzzy, three-nubbed leaves and the occasional pink flower to be taken back to camp. The patrol chats as they work, exchanging gossip and news as the smell of cut stems wreathes around them. Tree Star failed to interpret a warning sign from Starkland and lost a life as a result. Oh, but Chestnut has sealed well from their bite wound. Okay. Well, I'm glad Chestnut is better, but oh no, Tree Star alive. He only has eight left. I wonder what the warning was about, because that it's very vague. It doesn't tell us what actually happened. Sleek Claw is sharing tongues with Pebble Stripe. Everyone loves Pebble Stripe, except for, you know... Everyone loves Pebble Stripe. I think Pebble Stripe is purdy. 
I think <laughs> I think Pebble Stripe holds a very purdy place in the clan. Mike and Talon offers to groom a hard to reach place for Sleep Quo, who thanks them earnestly. High positive effect. Chestnut is surprised to hear Ebony Splash express an ideal they can agree with. High positive effect. Surprised? Clan cats say <laughs> things that make sense occasionally? Wow. Spruce Stripe. Oh, wait, to to be to be to be Spruce Stripe. I think it's time to back up a little, buddy. Looking forward to the Half Moon meeting. I'm glad Lake and Talon is so dedicated to being a, 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 a medicine cat. There is nothing else that matters in my life. Please go away, Spruce Stripe. <laughs> Myrtle Dash wants to help out Lake and Talon. There are no oh, kids here, Sleep Claw. <laughs> All those kids. <laughs> Laughing about the spirits not being real. <laughs> there are no spirits here. There are no there kids are here. here. Oh. Chestnut. Chestnut's oh, pretty when so he's not beautiful. sick. I like these little rings around his eyes. Yeah. You look a little like a bandit. <laughs> but a sweet bandit. <laughs> As per usual, Fron Fickle. <laughs> Fron Fickle knows no other state. She has trapped herself in a life of eternal mentorship. Ebony Splash got scared by a mouse while hunting. What happened to you, Ebony Splash? That mangled leg is probably setting back Rattlepaw's apprenticeship a bit. Yeah. Baby, I'm so sorry. He's pushing hard for more battle training. Wolfpaw! Wolfpaw, buddy! You, you, you know what has happened recently. Pebble Stripe is sharing wisdom with younger cats that is less than helpful yet again. Nothing I wouldn't expect. Pebble Stripe, we all love you. I think Chestnut and Ebony Splash should go out together. Yeah, they've been talking, haven't they? They have, yeah. And Ebony Splash could use the confidence. Uh, dog? Mm, proceed. Uh-oh. Uh, the patrol tries bravely to lead the dog uh, away from Cherry Clan borders, but with so few cats, it's impossible to cover each other's backs. Ebony Splash gets caught while running, and, it, uh, and it's all the rest of the patrol can do to distract the dog long enough to get Ebony Splash to safety. Uh, Ebony Splash got a mangled tail. I'm sorry, sweetie. I shouldn't Oops. have proceeded. It's okay. Good. Oh, a presence. There's the presence. And the presence goes away. It vanishes. Okay. Oh no! Pebble Stripe has gotten white cough. Pebble Stripe has gotten white cough, no! Oh, they're in the- Sweet. They're in the, they're in the medicine tent. No. Oh, don't die. D don't, don't die, it's sweetie. It's just white cough for now. Yeah, I know, but with elders, coughs can get serious quick, and I'm worried. Rattlepaw's better, though. Uh, yeah. I'm glad Rattlepaw. Oh, Rattlepaw's an adult. Oh, Pebble Stripe offers to groom hard to reach places for Sleek Claw. Who thanks them honestly. Pebble Stripe That's is getting nice. along with everyone all the time. Oh well, yeah, of course. Just, sorry, sorry. Stripe. No, we need to go back for a second. I know it's not high, but Rattlepaw is jealous that Chestnut got into a uh, it got to a fight in a border skirmish when they didn't. Rattlepaw, you were injured in the medicine den, and now Chestnut is injured. Now in the Chestnut den. is injured in the medicine den. Oh no, Ebony splashes, but Chestnut's companion is injured in the medicine den, <laughs> buddy. How do you how do you feel about Sleek Claw? I can tell him. Let's see. Uh-oh. <gasps> Conga line grows! Uh-oh, uh, uh also. Oh, no. Spruce Stripe has... She, she feels a little Final bit positively about first. Spruce Stripe all of a sudden. Spruce Stripe, who's a creep. Don't, don't date Spruce Stripe. <laughs> Funny. Oh, don't. but Spruce Stripe also has a little also bit likes of romantic chestnut? love for Why are you like chestnut? chestnut? <laughs> uh, who knows? Uh... 
and it's just as high as like in Talon too. Oh so like, the, the... <laughs> you catch on so quickly. He he's like, you know what? We'll go for any she cat who will take you. Okay, but Chestnut isn't a she cat. Any cat who will take you. <laughs> he uh. He sees how pretty Chestnut is, and he's like, well... You're a by disaster, Spruce Stripe. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm in love with the medicine cat, but... That that new loader's looking pretty hot. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Spruce Stripe, please shut up. We, we looked at this cat, we were like, wow, he's pretty. We didn't think at all he would be such a problem. I had no idea. It just said adventurous. I thought, yeah, this will be fine. What is your condition, tree star? Claw wound, hurt for one moment. Reported a clanmate for breaking the code. But which clanmate? Which clanmate? Let's, let's see the relationships here. Who do you hate? You hate wolf paw. You hate Ebony Splash. Wow. Mmm. But it's not like Ebony Splash could break the code from inside the medicine den. Maybe if they broke the code before they got to the medicine den? Maybe. They also Maybe. dislike Tree Star and Wolf Paw a little bit. Honestly, Fronflickle doesn't have a lot of strong relationships despite this. Uh, oh, a little bit of romantic like for Spruce Stripe, though. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, bad choice. Mm. Do, I, I think liking Spruce Stripe might be uh, bad for you, Fron, for, for, Frond Fickle. You know. <laughs> Ebony Splash tries to breathe deeply to no avail. Oh my goodness. Oh no! Look at all this. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. Let's send out a big medicine patrol. Very big medicine patrol. We'll, we'll put all six cats in it. Whole clan is getting medicine. Was recently chastised by their mentor for reckless behavior out on patrol. I think I, I mean, know who got turned in. Yeah, with the amount of injuries lately, I, I think reckless behavior would probably be frowned upon. <laughs> so this should... entire moon is a failure. Great, lovely. Yep. Maybe uh, I shouldn't have put all my eggs in that basket. All right, cross your fingers. Crossing my fingers hard. <sighs> Pebble Stripe no longer has White Cough! Woo! Cherry and Clam. Wolf Maid is a new warrior. Oh, but I'm so sorry, Rag. Oh, Rag of Paws. Oh, oh no. Their, Fron Fickle. their younger Den Maid is. Fron Fickle died? Yeah, from, a, oh. from the claw wound. <laughs> oh. Fron Fickle has taken their place in Star Clan. Cherry Clan mourns their loss, and their friends and family shared the best, and sometimes the worst, moments of their lives, and stories passed around the circle of mourners as the elders carried them to their final resting place. I'm so sorry. Well, let's look at Wolf Fade quick. Oh. Okay. Wolf Fade is policing everyone's posture. The influence of their mentor, Tree Star, caused this cat to become more abrasive. Okay. Strict and an excellent fighter. Well, of course she's an excellent fighter. I believe that. She's looking for battle training every five minutes. Surprised to find themselves walking in the Stars of Silver Pelt. I would be too if I died from a claw wound while Ebony Splash was mangled right next to me. Sad. Sweetie. Prevent fading. Prevent fading. No fading. This is our Fading. first dead cat. Um, Fading is a silly idea. Who the heck is Malaroar? Uh, oh, you're Star here to guide the, guide the dead cats. Okay. The Starkling guide will never fade. Our very first mentor. She's and gone. our very fast dead. <laughs> very fast dead. Oops. First dead. This is actually very late for, for a first death, I feel, actually. But it's also very late to not have anyone... I mean, we did have Chestnut join the clan, but... Uh, usually there's like 10 kitty pets who come in with their 10 kits by now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Spruce Stripe, what are, you, what are you thinking right now? About Slick Claw? About what? everyone. Slick Claw is injured! <laughs> you're, you're just getting mad at an injured cat. 
there's there's a little bit of jealousy there. I'm guessing that's what's going into this. Oh my god, you're you didn't get. Oh my god, he's Sleek got a little bit of dislike for like and talent also. Yeah, Sleek Claw's the one who should be jealous. Spurs Rip, what do you, what do you have to be jealous about? Why are you jealous of everyone? You're jealous of Tree Star. You're jealous of Sleek Claw. You're jealous of Pebble Strike. Why are you jealous of Pebble Strike? <laughs> Goodness, this guy's a mess. Is I'm sure. Is I'm what sure the rest the rest of the <laughs> you know, um, maybe they shouldn't be thinking that highly of you. Leekha showed up a lot in this. Let's see their relationships quick. Lots of comfort yeah. with Pebble Stripe. Yeah. To be uh, to be fair, Pebble Stripe is extremely comforting. Oh yeah. I mean, if we go to Pebble Stripe. Oh, cute. Uh, with with Rattlepaw, it's a strong platonic love. Oh. Oh, sweetie. You're like their parent. The parent they never had, or grandparent they never had. As far as this game goes, though, Pebble Stripe is getting pretty old. Yeah. It's recounting daring expeditions for the younger cats to hear. Which at least isn't bad advice. Misery. Company Splash. Chestnut's uh, keeping the good example alive for uh, our poor dead. Thinking of uh, Frond Fickle. Yeah. Keeping her in, her, uh, in their hearts. Giving thanks to Star Clown. Very in character. Gosh. Do um, I, I, do, I specifically do not want to send Rattlepaw with Wolf Fade right now. Because I think it would make them sad. These guys? Rattlepaw is Rattlepaw. not acting like their usual self. Spruce Stripe decides to ask Rattlepaw if there's something they can help them with, or if they want to talk about it. Unfortunately, Rattlepaw immediately shuts down and asks Spruce Stripe if they could just please continue walking to the training grounds. Sweetie. Aww. Do I want to be mean and say Wolf Fade can go with Lycan Talon? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Entourage presence, wahoo. Nope, doesn't want to talk to Wolf Fade. Cool, okay. Alright, and now our Border Patrol. Ooh. Your patrol finds a loner who's interested in joining the clan. They banter with the cat a bit, making them feel more welcome. Proceed. The loner has a pleasant chat with the patrol, but they did not decide to join. Oh. Their name is Partridge? I think we can go to Cat List over here, and we can see Partridge the cats inside the tree. Partridge has a strong connection to Star Clan, but doesn't seem interested. Uh oh. When Ebony Splash wakes up, Lycan Talon has to explain to them that they removed Ebony Splash's tail as a last resort. The damage was too great. Oh, gosh. And the stump oh, where God. Ebony Splash's tail used to be became infected. Oh, gosh. Oh, poor guy. You you really need a confidence boost after all of this. Also, some therapy and a hug. Send Pebble, Spl uh, send Pebble Stripe. <laughs> oh, Rattlepaw became a warrior. They're rattle spots in honor of their morale. Oh, good. The influence of their mentor, Spruce Stripe, caused this cat to become more outgoing. Oh, they're confident now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were nervous when they were a baby. They made a full turn. That's what I call an arc. Yeah. All right. Chestnut received a present, maple leaves, from Lake and Talon, and decided to keep them with oh. them on their pelt. Cute. Oh, that's beautiful! Lots of contrast. Like and Talon was complaining about Pebble Stripe? Why would you do that? No. Why would anyone complain about Pebble Stripe? Myrtle Dash gets a high positive effect from Ebony Splash. High negative effect between Sleek Claw and Like and Talon. No! Uh, Lycan Talon never does anything helpful. Sleek Claw! 
Maybe it's because Lycan Talon just cut off a guy's tail and then it got infected. <laughs> I mean, fair, but uh, she's trying. Priest off with a claw wound. Sleep claw with water in their lungs. I forgot it was water in their lungs. And Ebony, Ebony Splash, Splash with a lot. lot. Oh, Myrtle Dash is a senior now. 120 moons. Oh, it's about how much fresh kill they intend to bring back to camp today. Uh-huh. Grooming themselves, making sure every whisker is in place. Snoring. Tree oh, star no. itches uncomfortably, wishing their wound would close up and heal already. It seems to be getting worse. At oh. least that's the only thing that happened this month. Uh-huh. I think it's a little worrying when you have this few cats. Usually I'm covered in kits by now. We have no kits or apprentices. Or anyone who's mates. We can force them mates. to be mates, but I don't think that's uh I, I don't think that's nece necessary no. yet. <laughs> no no. Pebble Stripe is sharing tongues with Lycan like Talon. Good. I'm glad that they're getting over their relationship. Why is Sleek Claw on patrol? Sleek Claw's in the medicine den right now. <laughs> Sleek Claw just couldn't stay forever. Can go on a border patrol. They hear paw steps through the territory. And kitty pet, yes! Kitty pet, kitty pet, kitty pet! Alright, her name is Tree Proceed. Blossom. Proceed. Yes. yes. So let's take a peek at her. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, oh, she's pretty. <gasps> oh, oh, you're beautiful. Tree Blossom used to be a kitty pet, but joined the clan after fleeing from their cruel two leg. Aww. And they've oh, got one, they've got one green eye and one blue eye. I'm glad you're called Tree Blossom, by the way. That, that fits right in with our clan theme here. Cherry Blossom. <laughs> Maybe she can become the next leader after Tree Blossom. <laughs> I'd like that. Not loving Spruce Stripe right now. <laughs> oh, all the people they met on the patrol they like just a little. Oh, good. That's good. Fade feels that a new rule should be added to the warrior code. Which rule, Fade? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone must say hi to me and give me a compliment each morning. If they do not, we will spar. That's yeah, a very so I'm fine. going to die statement to make. To be fair, you've always been spiritual, but you're making the sort of spiritual statement that means I'm going to die. I hope you're okay without me. No. <laughs> <laughs> You are not. Wolfie <laughs> is <nope>. right there. <laughs> she is a good fighter, though. But Wolfie is an excellent fighter. Yeah, no, it's just it's just provably wrong by this by this statement. <laughs> okay, okay. Ebony Splash's claw wound is healed. Bite wound is healed. And the, and the infection is gone. is gone. And Sleet Claw's breathing is returned to normal. Except Tree Star I lost a life to an infected wound. Well, it was just Tree Star. He's got so what? That's seven more? Seven. He's good. Tree, Tree Star is He's beautiful, by the way. I, know, I did not mention that before. He is. I like the little bit of red right on the. like yeah. the blush. Oh, yeah. Oops. Tree Star is plot bossing Tree Blossom around high negative effect. <laughs> That's what you get for stealing my name. <laughs> That's how it works. Spruce Stripe appreciates how Tree Blo Blossom always seems to ask how they're doing. High positive effect. You're full of yourself, Spruce Stripe. Like, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Why doesn't anyone in this clan love me? Tree Blossom seems like the only cat who cares. <laughs> As we go into the next one, it's going to be a full year. Oh, wow. A full year of warrior cats. I definitely took this a little bit slower than usual so that we can look at everything that happens, but oh look. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Ebony Splash, your tail. Who was it that Tree Blossom was getting along with? The deputy? Yeah. We can, yeah. We can put them out again. P proceed? That's not a problem. Once the patrols cross yeah. paths, Spruce Stripe is quick to break the awkward atmosphere with a friendly greeting and easy conversation. Oh yeah, because he's a good speaker. Good speaker, yeah. The true patrols eventually return to their tasks feeling confident in their good relations with the opposite clan. There's definitely a way to min-max this by actually paying attention to their skills and sending them on patrols they'd be good yeah, at. Yeah, so like if I were to add, like, Chestnut, 
we get an excellent speaker. But if we add Wolf Fade, we get an excellent fighter. Alright, one last patrol for medicine. We need more blackberry leaves. And they got blackberry leaves! Wonderful! It's been a year. And Ebony Splash got their paw stuck in a two-leg trap while they were eventually escaped. Their leg is heavily injured. Ebony Splash! Good you got those blackberry leaves then. Yeah, um... For those of you who don't have a, a, um, not photographic, but eidetic memory, perfect memory for warrior cat's herb knowledge, blackberry leaves are uh, used to help in treating the pain of wounds and sometimes stopping infection. So it's good that they now have those. Tree Star and Spruce Stripe both get a call. Uh, well, uh... Myrtle Death Dash joins the Elders. Wolf Fade slips on rocks and chest. And their legs! Oh gosh. Oh, half the clan is in the medicine tent. Oh boy. I'm sure Wolf Fade will be fine. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh... Yeah, if we go over here to the medicine cat den, we've got half the cats. Yeah. Well, welcome to one year, everyone. Would follow their clanmates to the ends of the earth, sleep claw. <laughs> Sleep Claw has also has a strong platonic love for life and talent now. And a, and a little bit of romantic life, but we can ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> Chestnut seems to be getting along with not Sleep Claw, but everyone else. And has uh, still has a, a, a hint of romantic life for Spruce Stripe. Yeah, and I still don't get it. <laughs> To get. What are you doing, Tree Blossom? Uh, liking some people and disliking Sleep Claw. Yeah, okay. And the sky's afraid and evil to come get them. You're in the, you're in the medicine den, buddy. Ebony Splash is going through a lot. <laughs> <coughs> yeah! And why is she- stand to watch the younger cats make fools of themselves. Well, Fade, you were the baby. <laughs> <laughs> what younger cats? <laughs> All right, the four cats who can patrol, let's go. Ooh, uh, Lycan Talon with Tree Blossom. Okay. They got moss. We Patrol again. Um, everyone's sick. Let's go on a border patrol and see if we can't pick up yeah. a kitty pet. <laughs> Screaming of a cat begging their two legs to come back and the sound of a monster screaming Proceed, away. proceed, proceed. Well-groomed kitty pet. Trouble nug- Trouble nuggets? They find a well-groomed kitty pet collapsed on the <laughs> Thunderpath, wailing for their two legs to come back. Sleep Paw comforts them and asks them why their two legs have left them. The only explanation they can give is that they've been sick recently and perhaps too much of a burden. Sleep Claw offers the former kitty pet a place in Cherry Clan till they're better, at least. They tentatively accept whilst looking longingly back to the Thunderpath. I'm worried about your name being Trouble Nuggets. Uh, <sighs> well, we can change the oh, name. Oh, but you are beautiful. If you'd like to give him a new name. I... You know, um, could we could we keep trouble and make his last name something different? Um, you you can be trouble, and um, off the top of my head, um, how about uh, Fox? <laughs> no, Trouble Fox. All right, and here we are. It's Trouble Fox. Uh huh. <laughs> anyway, this is Trouble Fox. He, he's a, he's a male. He just joined the clan. Yeah. This this seems he's, like a very a very random character who I. He's calm. He's extremely smart. He's he's prepared. Yeah. That that sounds just like Trouble Fox. But now we've got another sick cat in the clan. Uh, but okay. <laughs> but Trouble Fox will be better soon. Hopefully. And then Trouble Fox can be part of the clan. Hopefully, the cat you named Trouble Fox doesn't die next moon when I push I this really button. I really hope Trouble Fox doesn't die next moon. <laughs> because it's always good to have new faces in the clan and not because Trouble Fox is anything special. Nothing happened except for Tree Blossom getting a runny nose. Okay, so everyone is in the medicine den. Yep. High negative effect. Sleep Claw was complaining that Like and Talon never does anything helpful again. High positive effect. Chestnut had a difficult conversation with Wolf Fade. 
And, uh, Trouble Fox is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Ebony Splash. High positive effect. How are you doing with those relations, Trouble Fox? Oh, you know Ebony Splash? You know Rattlespots and Sleek Claw? You don't dislike anyone yet, that's good. Yeah, Rattlespots and Sleek Claw found him, so that's probably what's probably going on Probably where there. the comfort and trust are coming from, yeah. Alright, we still got four. Like and Talon starts chatting with Sleek Claw to pass the time, but they have nothing in common, and the other half <laughs> bluntly refuses to talk about boring herbs. Oh my god! <laughs> wow! But you love Star Clan, that's something in common. That's probably. so in common! It seems like we've got okay amount of herbs. Content with how many herbs they have stacked up. Okay, but are you content with how many people are sleeping you, in the den You right have now? six cats in this den. Alright, let's see. Tree Star has survived. survived Yellow, cough. Yellow cough. White cough is gone. Chestnut's white cough is gone. All right, Wolf... that's four of them out of the way. Wolf is... Yeah, Wolfblade is no longer bruised. Sorry, who had a fight with who? What? What? Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ebony Splash had a fight with Tree Star. I guess so. Oh, they were both God. in the medicine den together. They can't get away from each other. And Tree Star went to tell Rattlespots a speak secret, and Rattlespots told someone else. Yeah, that's okay. Not demanding a lot of respect from the young cats in your clan, Tree Star. Not really, no. The young cats do not super like you right now. And Wolfate is getting along with Lycan Talon? Whoa, whoa, hold on. Hold oh on. my gosh! When See did this happen? With Wolfade, still high dislike, but a little okay. bit of like. That's Wolfade impressive. Wolfate for Lycan Talon absolutely adores her. <laughs> okay, yeah, but that that's always been true. <laughs> <laughs> is doing still nothing like super big in how much they like anybody but you know we haven't checked on spruce stripe in a while either let's see that it's true still feels about the same about everybody actually dislikes rattle spots which might be a bit new yeah tree star Closest with Lycan like Talon, which uh, makes sense. It makes sense. But yeah. has a weird amount of respect for Wolf Fade. I guess Wolf Fade was their apprentice. Yeah, yeah. Although, didn't they respect? Didn't he respect Wolf Fade when he was when she was a kitten? Um, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> not not this much, but I think so, yeah. All right, Lycan like Talon. You, you really like Sleek Claw, despite the fact that you have nothing in common. You're comfortable standing in silence together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Normal stuff. Perfectly. Sleek Claw also feels the same way about Lake and Talon almost. Exactly. Oh, but Sleek Claw is also jealous of Lake and Talon. Oh, quite a bit. Yeah. That's a, that, that's actually a new one. Didn't we notice that Sleek Claw didn't really have any negative emotions yeah. last time we looked over it? Oh no. I, my my personal guess is Sleek Claw is very spiritual. Mm -hmm. So it might be a like and Talon. I'm not entirely sure you're good at this thing. Maybe I could do your job better. I mean, like and Talon gets to go to Star Clan and talk to their ancestors. Every yeah. Afternoon. Tree, Blo Tree Blossom has a romantic interest in Spruce Stripe. <laughs> but not a platonic one. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Trouble Fox knows a few more people now. Knows a few more people. Still liking Slink Claw best, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wolf Fade's pretty close with a lot of people, actually. I mean, vaguely, anyway. For somebody who's a, who's so proper, Wolf Fade hiding her Vulcan emotions. <laughs> to be fair, she adopted those Vulcan emotions about two thirds of the way through her apprenticeship. She was a ball of energy before that. <laughs> to Lake and Talon's concern, the warrior escort is unusually quiet. When prompted on their troubles, Tree Blossom comments that they could not help but think of what legacy they would leave behind if Starclan calls upon them. Lycan Talon and Tree Blossom spend their time on the patrol dis discussing how, to Star Clan, the end of their life did not mean it was the true end. Even in Star Clan, cats had their role to play. Tree Blossom's legacy would shine brighter than any star. 
Comforted by these words, Tree Blossom thanks Lycan and Talon and helps them bring back the herbs. And they got they also find the line line in cat. But that's beautiful. I'm so happy for you two. Yeah. And you two can go to Border Patrol. Paw steps through Christine. the territory. Paw steps through the territory. The patrol the follows the immediately sound. turns on them. Rattlespots doesn't have enough time to... Okay. Rattlespots got a claw wound, but the clan has met Franny. Franny? Franny. Uh, yeah. So okay. So cat list and go to cats outside clans. We now have a kitty There's pet named Franny. Franny. The mean kitty pet. But she's also calm? <laughs> and very smart. Both things you definitely totally want in your enemies. I'm sorry, they're removing a leg now? Like and Talon, what's with all of this amputation? Ebony Splash already got his- The leg is too mangled. He already uh, got at some point, we're just gonna have to remove every part of your body, Ebony Splash. I'm sorry. Oh, but you look cute, then. Oh. Lost their tail, lost a leg, Ebony Splash. Oh. Uh, Wolf Fade is having a wonderful time discussing recent clan news with Chestnut. Like oh, like and tell anything helpful. <laughs> so, like and tell still hates Wolfade. Nothing is changing there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but Chestnut doesn't like Tree Blossom. Oh, gosh. Trouble Fox is lining their nest with Lavender. That's that's appropriate. Ebony you are an expert <laughs> after all. Ebony Splash needs a hug. Now... Rattle spots think they're the fiercest fighter in the clan. Oh, sweetie. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wolfie is lecturing about the warrior code to anyone who will listen. I actually love Wolfie. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. I wonder how much overlap there is between the cats who want to listen to Wolfie and the cats who want to listen to Pebble Strike. You have never known any cat named Malaroar, Myrtle Dash. They're the Star Clan guide. Yeah, I, they're the Star Clan guide, but you never knew. Alive! They, 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 they were never alive! Why don't you miss Fron Fickle? Well, I, I don't think. I, I think when Fron Fickle died, no one even really mourned. Like, usually when they die, a bunch of cats say that they're mourning, and um, nobody <laughs> bothered oh to care. Oh my god! <laughs> very, very much dislike for Wolf Fade. Oh yeah. Sleep Claws, closest with Myrtle Dash and Lycan Talon. Have our new kitties met anyone else? We can check in a sec. And Chestnut. Okay, so Tree Blossom. Knows seven cats? Okay. Mm -hmm. Still has that weird gradient with Spruce Stripe. <laughs> Trouble Fox knows six cats. And All is right. a little bit in love with Ebony Splash. <laughs> oh boy. To be fair, <laughs> I think Ebony Splash could use it. You probably met in the medicine den, which is the saddest part. <laughs> uh, Wolf Fade does not feel romantic about everyone, but feels very platonic about several people. Yeah. That's good. Including Tree I, I think Wolf Fade is me, actually. <laughs> I think Wolf Fade is you. Well, you can't say that too soon, because these cats will literally do anything. <laughs> it's true, it's true. I it, it, I don't want to tie myself to that. I don't know what you'll do, Wolfade. Who's in the medicine den? You're it not in not. the medicine den anymore. Both of you got out this moon. Da da da. Still no children. Or really, we're at the or anything. Um... But let's, uh, let, let's, let's, I mean, th these guys can't have kids, Trouble but... Plus Ebony Splash doesn't matter, they could be happy together. Let's have them do some training. Yeah. Ebony what? Splash suggests this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with Trouble Fox. Ebony Splash Ebony takes Splash. charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. Good. They practice how to bring down prey together, their confidence in each other growing. Fantastic. A loner who's interested in joining the clan. They banter with the cat a bit, making them feel more welcome. Proceed! Oh, but they don't have to do much convincing. The loner seems happy to join the clan. Bramble, Bramble Castrol. Castrol has joined the clan. Your clan's reputation towards out outsiders has improved. Alright. 
Bramble Castrol. Oh, you have a collar, despite being a loner. Interesting. Bramble Castrol used to live on something called a boat with two legs, but decided to join the clan. Interesting. I see. Another young adult male. Yes. We're, we're picking up a lot of those. As a medicine cat, they don't take the responsibility lightly, and both of them work together to divine the vision's meaning. That's great! And Tansy was gathered. Yay. All right, and then the last two, what kind of patrol? Hunting, on account of us not having done any, any of that. And also, Tree Star's a good, uh, good hunter. Mouse. Mouse. Proceed. Mouse captured. Yeah! All right, and then uh, that about wraps up everything we have to do here. I guess it has can... been 15 moons. Mm -hmm. It has been 15 moons in the last couple hours, and... Uh, I guess I guess we could check real fast. Uh, the platonic like between Ebony Slash and Trouble Fox has gone up a little bit, I think. So maybe that boosts Ebony oh, Slash's. Oh, there's some trust and some trust. That's yeah, good. A little bit of trust. <laughs> Poor... I'm gunning for at least a friendship. Poor Ebony Slash. Ebony Slash desperately, <laughs> desperately needs a hug. <laughs> S significant love. And the, 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 the platonic like between like and Talon and Sleek Claw is almost at 5 too. So maybe uh, we can uh, we can think a bit next time around and see how we're going to pair up these guys. On patrols and... Not, not specifically because we're um, dying and starving in the middle of the woods with no kits, but come on! We need some before, <laughs> before please, Sleek Claw dies. Please. Anyway, uh, that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching this. We might not include an outro in the actual thing, depending on how I cut it up, but... We'll see, yeah. Thank you, Sunny, for joining me on this experience. Thank you for inviting me. It was a delightful time. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.